I'm gonna show y'all how they look. I'm hearing people right now talking about, ooh, that look, ooh, like, ooh. First of all, bitch. say my name because I think a lot of people don't know how to pronounce it right now. Right now. So right now, welcome to Infinite Cobby's channel. And if you are new, welcome and hit the subscribe button and share the video. Hit the like button. Um, uh, previous supporters, vigilantes, the, vigilant, the vigilant people, the vigilantes out there. We looking for you right now. Check it out, the temple. Duh, duh, duh. Oh my gosh! It's it. Oh my gosh! All the air nomads. It's all the air nomads. Ain't you in it too? Oh my god! And <laughs> uh, thanks for the support. Thanks for the uh, the love. And I appreciate people who just come by out of out of curiosity, and or the people or the haters and the and and people out there too. But anyway, we are about to do basically a memory of mine. I don't want to call this a story time, but I guess I gotta have to play. I gotta, I gotta play the game a little bit just to get some, some, some vigorous action, you know? Yeah, vigorous action. <laughs> so anyway, this is a story time about how I got this trophy. Oh my gosh, y'all! I was surprised. It, it was a lot of heartache, a lot of tears, a lot of anger. And a lot of giving up, but I got this award. <laughs> oh my God! In this, this is 2013. This was this took place. You know, you see the year right here is 2013. So I got this around 2013. I got around. I believe it was all. It was August and September. It was around August to September, and before that. My mom told me about it. It was like, oh, this, oh, this this reward, by the way, this reward, this reward, I got this because I got best dessert. You can see a little bit, you know, got the got the Grammy, Emmy, Oscar. Baby, I, I I'm telling you, I was feeling just like that when I was receiving it. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I was, I got it for cooking. So I was cooking. Basically, I chose to cook the dessert, but they had a competition. It was a chef competition, you know. These were these were people who are chefs, actual chefs. I was not eating. I was not a professional chef yet. I was like, I was just like, you know, just new to the professionalism or the people who are more experienced than me. Because, you know, I always love to cook. I always love to cook, y'all. And it's not even about me even just loving it. It's like me putting the mm, like that pizzazz into it. Like, you know how some food just be tasting good? It spiritually feels good. It is nourishing your body. That's kind of thing. It's, it's like, it's almost, it's like an addiction. A good addiction though. But you don't want to be on a bad addiction either. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's like, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I just know that I always love to cook. And I used to play, I used to cook a lot around Christmas, Thanksgiving, the holidays, you know, and usually would help my mom make uh, desserts. But at first, it was, it, it was a, a, a homely feeling that it would taste good. It's like, oh, let me lick the bowl, you know. You know, y'all know how, how how we are when we were younger, and we were seeing lick the bowl of the other cake or the or something that's sweet. It's like I'm taking the whole bowl. Sometimes I be want to take the whole bowl. I don't even care about the cake being done. I just want to eat the dang the dang freaking uh mix, the freaking mix. <laughs> So anyway, basically how I got this, this beautiful award right here, Grammy, Grammy nominated award for best dessert catered to you. Let me cater to you. Okay, bitch. <laughs> Let me cater to you. Hey, I'm done. I'm done, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyway, 
my mom told me about it and I was like, okay, I was scared about it because you know, I'm about to, I'm going in the big leagues. I'm going into the big leagues, you know, I'm going into the big leagues. So I was worried, a little bit worried. I hope like my stuff does good. And I had, to, I was just basically looking up ideas or thinking of ideas what I can do for the cake and I had this idea I, I had not two I had two ideas actually let me rephrase that and I believe the first idea was I wanted to make a full la four four layer strawberry cake and it was going to be like ombre on the inside like all the layers was going to be different shades of red and I was going to make cream frosting just butter cream frosting and I wanted to uh, make a fondant. Yes, I was doing my research on the best fondant because I looked up, like I wanted to do this all handmade. I'm talking about no boxes, none of that. Fresh, fresh stuff, maybe even organic, maybe vegan. I'm just saying like, <laughs> I'm not trying, like I always try to go out my way to make, make it from scratch. That's all I'm trying to say. So it was gonna be the fondant, it was gonna be fondant, and then I was gonna make r roses out of the frosting and make it different colors. So that was a big idea for the first dessert for the for the for the cake. I was really like, I wanna make this good. I really wanna get get that freaking award. I wanted to get that award. So it's not just about getting the award, but I wanted to just prove, I guess, I think to myself and a little bit to other people, but I think prove to myself, like, I hope my food tastes good. I wanted to do that, the the cake, and then I wanted to do, I found, uh, do Oreos, cookies and cream, um, cupcakes with the, um, and I believe it was cream cheese frosting. Yes, cream cheese frosting, and I would add like an Oreo on top of that. I got the pictures. They might don't look as well, but tell you, I've grown from that. Um, so basically, that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I decided on. So I planned it out, made sure to get the ingredients, and the you know make sure to get all of the, the ingredients, that kind of thing, et cetera, et cetera. Make sure to do the measurements right, um, and plan it out. Like I was trying to plan it like maybe third or like it was yeah, because it was on a Saturday. So I was trying to plan it ahead of time. So like Thursday, Friday you know, working on it. And I think it was more so Friday than Saturday because it was two days. I wanted to start a little bit earlier so it can be a little bit like at least fresh, not like two, two day old fresh, but fresh. One day, half a day, that kind of day. So when, when uh, I started to cook, yeah, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah, I forgot the fondant. Like I, I wanted to find a specific fondant um, I wanted the fondant to taste good because I know a lot of people don't like frosting. I mean, the fondant, sometimes the fondant might taste weird or taste kind of like awful to eat to some people. And it depends on who's making it, what's the recipe, and that kind of stuff. And for me, I found, to me, I found the perfect one. It wasn't too sweet. It wasn't sour. It wasn't none of that. It just tastes right. In my, It just tasted right. It tasted like very smooth. Uh, like you can, like you if you ate it, if you ate it, 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 it wouldn't feel like, oh my gosh, what, what am I eating? Like, why does it taste so sour? Or why taste it too, too, like, too processed sweet? Mine just tastes simmer, it melts in your mouth. And it was great, even though I didn't get to use it. And I'm gonna tell you why. So, basically, I started cooking on Friday, and <laughs> y'all, I was so mad. I did like I mixed the cakes real well. I did the colors nicely. Then when it came out, the bottom of it was burned. <laughs> the bottom was burnt, and I was just like, okay, okay. I was I was irritated. I was uh I was emotional. I was like, okay, it's only Friday. You know we got time for this. We, we can get it done. I, so when it when Saturday came, I just gonna I said I'm gonna get this right, and cause the, I'm not telling y'all about the Oreo cupcakes. Those turned out pretty well. Those turned out well. How I made it, I put the um, I actually made it like mixed the Oreos in, and it was kind of I guess basically like vanilla, a vanilla um base, and once I got the uh, 
the cupcake cups, I place an Oreo on, 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 on the underside and I put the, the cupcake mix into the, into the cups, pouring it up like it was good. Put it in, in the oven and let that, that Oreo underneath just marinate and, and cook. It just, it just intermeshes. It intermeshes so good. So, y'all like, I'm trying to describe it for y'all because you gotta use your adjectives, okay? So when it came time the next day, I said, made it again. Then it came out right. And I did everything exactly right. And it still came out messed up. And it came out maybe worse than before. Um, the event starts at six, I believe. It started at six and we have to be there at five so we can have our stuff, you know, prepared. And I did it the third time. It was, it was very hurtful for me. Like, uh, having to do that three times and it's, it's going close to D-Day. I had to get ready. It, I was just like, I'm, I, I really was close to giving up. I'm serious. I mean, not even close to giving up. I was really just giving up, like literally. I just like was was really like telling my mom, I was like, I don't, I don't want to do this. I just don't. I was just in tears. I was livid. I was just like, whatever. Time to find out. She, she, my mom kept on trying me to do, do it. You need to finish. Just finish it. Your nose know okay. We can finish. Still finish it. He said, I was like, no, it's not. It's almost four. We gotta get ready to leave. I wasted everyone's money. I wasted everyone's everything, and I feel bad. We gotta get ready to leave before five. We gotta be there at five. I don't like being late. Sometimes it's okay to run a little bit late for me, but I don't want to run late every single day on time for something that's really important to me. You know, basically it was close. It was around maybe at least three. It was around at least three or two thirty. Two thirty. I made it. And I just my mom uh, basically just come, uh, just tells me like, you can still make this cake. The problem was, was that the the rack, the wire rack, the wire rack, the wire rack was too low. The wire rack was too low. And I'm, you know, I didn't really know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Cause I thought, cause I think what happened was, I think it was around the, uh, around, I guess, uh, 4th of July. Yeah, because, you know, it was, yeah, it maybe around 4th of July. I think that's why. Because we was barbecuing and that kind of stuff. And I think the wire rack got moved since then. And I didn't realize that. I was just like, you sure? You know, I was just like, you sure this going to work? Yeah, it's going to work. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, it's going to work. You know, so I was just like, okay. I just, I just try to just do what I can. And... Good thing, it actually it actually didn't burn on the bottom. Everything came out well, and I was I was like a little bit excited. It, even though we it was like around three, three, and you know got to get ready, and I had to make the frost. I still had to make the frosting. I still didn't make the frosting because I, I wanted to wait until the cakes cool down to make the frosting because I didn't want it to be too hot. So. It was getting close to that time. Once I made, this is like my fourth try. My fourth try, I got it right. I got it right on the fourth try. I was uh, I was getting a, a, a bit happy, you know? But I knew that I was not gonna be able to do the roses. And I wasn't, because I actually made the fondant. I made the fondant on Saturday. So I thought I was gonna be able to put it, put it in, in time before um, five o'clock. You know, but I didn't get a chance to put that down either, and I was disappointed. I really wanted the roses and the fondant to really do that thing. You know, give me that idea that I see. I really want the bro yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, when it came down to it, I already made the um the frosting, and my mom just told me get go ahead and get ready. You know, we can uh once you have your you know your clothes on, you can be able to do what you got to do, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And I basically came back down. The cake wasn't hot, but it wasn't like, cause it was already getting close to leave. We got up, you know, we had to leave. It was still warm. 
it was a bit look a bit warm still i didn't know because once i put that frosting on and stuff like that and put the put you know put the cake display in um started seeing that the the top leg the fourth layer was breaking in half and i'm like uh-uh no and i got i just like no <laughs> I'm like, no. And my mom like, no. And I'm just like, please don't let this dang cake break. And my mom was like, bring the, bring the extra frosting with you. We gonna do something about this. <laughs> we gonna do something about this. I'm just like, I don't know. I just hope this don't break. And let me be, oh, behold. Oh, wow. It breaks in the car. And I'm just like, I just can't have nice things. <laughs> I didn't say all that, but seriously, that's how I'm looking back at it. I just like, I can't have some damn nice things. Like, good lord. Are you serious? I did this cake, I got four tries. <laughs> four freaking tries. And hey, you mean to tell me? I said, I didn't get my, my roses, my fondant, and I have to sit here and take this? No, no. God, I didn't ask for this. You ain't gonna play me like this. <laughs> so I was pissed off, okay? But mama, but at least we brought the frosting because I didn't know what we were gonna do because I really wanted that fourth layer. That's why, like, I wanted all my ideas to hit. I couldn't even get the fourth layer. I'm like, what? <laughs> Once we got there, what we, my mom took out, got that frosting. Oh yeah, and, and uh, once we got there, I had a, um, I have like a black, what I had on? I know it was something. Mm, it was a blue and red shirt. Well, it was a blue and red shirt. It was long, covered my arms. And I had black on pants. And then I had got these new shoes. It was the, uh, the Nike Jordans. <laughs> the Nike Jordan Air shoes. And <laughs> I don't, I never really had, I never had, Jordans growing up. I'm, I'm just going to be that honest. These were the only, like, the only ones I ever brought. I still got them, but they cost me uh, not too much. They, you know how most shoes cost like a hundred something dollars and that kind of thing. And these were different. I really wanted them. They were the red, they like red, um, they kind of like shiny, a bit shiny. It's kind of like chrome, chrome red. That's why, I, if I could describe the color, it was like a chrome kind of red color and they kind of reminded me uh, Wizard of Oz, a little bit. Not just the color, I just like how vivid the color was. And I was just like, I'm gonna keep the, these are my take me back home shoes, okay? <laughs> these are my take me back home shoes. I'm clicking my feet right now, trying to do it. <laughs> so anyway, um, she, uh, I had that on and then they gave us a red apron cause you know, if you wanna, you know, this is their event and you know, that kind of thing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I had, I put the apron on, then once we got the frosting and stuff, my mom just like, you know what, what we can do? I was just disappointed, cause she, I mean, even though I was disappointed, I, I just uh, let her do do the, what, what what she think could work. So she basically took the fourth, you know, the fourth layer that was bro broken in half, and she placed it on another plate, and basically like cut it, basically cut it into like samples. So it can be like, she was like, well, we can do like this, like cut into samples. So then they can see and see the cake, but they can get that sample so that, so everybody can get one. So you won't have to see and cut like big, you know, slices for each and every one. Cause I really wanted to eat this cake myself. You know, I wanted to eat this cake myself. I didn't get time. I haven't got, hadn't got time to eat it. And I was like, ooh, you know. Even if, you know, even if everything came out how I wanted, wanted, I really still wanted to taste it. So, once that gone, once that went on, she, she did a good idea. So then she did that and then she basically placed the frosting, the, the extra frosting onto the cake and just did what we had to do. And that's what it is. I just know people was curious about my cake. So, once they got it, all set was done and we were able to get the, you know, able to get the people around the food from the other chefs as well. And some of them had some good food. I, I, like, I was just like surprised that once I came in there, I was really with a lot of people who were professionals. And I'm, I was, I was still young. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not talking about, I'm just saying I'm still, I still was young and new to actually like 
just make like making it making food be more presentable like it was still presentable but not as presentable as it should be so it was just me having to learn and cook more often so i'm gonna show y'all how they look hope y'all get, get to see this i'm hearing people right now talking about oh that look ooh, like ooh. first of all bitch <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like I'm. The, my response to this is maybe mine aren't fancy and don't look perfect, but the proof will be in the taste. <laughs> so after that, that's my response because it don't have to look as good. Maybe it should. Don't get me wrong, but if it still got the taste, people gonna come back for that. That's what matters. Still, the look matters too, but taste is what matters overall because you want it to taste good. You don't want it to taste weird, sloppy, messy, that kind of thing. So, point blank period. And I, let me tell y'all, people was coming back for them desserts. Even one specific man, because he was not supposed to be eating sweets a lot. And he kept on coming back, getting some more sample bites, getting a slice. He got a slice and stuff. I'm just saying, <laughs> he really enjoyed that cake and I had to make sure that, cake, you know, put the other cake up because I didn't want people to get like, I didn't want people to get all this life. My, my mom was saying the same, same thing. I want to taste this cake too. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so anyway, uh, after we uh, did what we had to do, basically they had to vote, the people, the people had to vote. Um, for the best categories and the best, you know, best categories for the different foods and as well as the the main car category for just everything in general. So I got the best dessert and I only made a dessert. I mean, if I really wanted to do other things, I might have could. But anyway, I got the best dessert and I was almost, I think, I believe I was almost, was almost got the uh, best like um, best food of overall, but you know, I was just, you know, I was just going off. But at least I got this one right here. When I received this, I, I was shocked. I was shocked. I'm just saying I was shocked because this was, um, I had some, uh, I mean, I had got a few awards before for some different things, that I was doing. but I was just, I was just like very happy that I got this. Uh, award for something that I uh, love to do and that's that means a lot so and that, let, that, that lets me know that my cooking is good and I just need to keep on perfecting and perfecting and doing that thing and it will just and nobody can stop it now what's up tell it girl <laughs> speak the truth so anyway that was pretty much. And I just hope y'all enjoyed the story. I'm going to have to edit it a little bit more. But I'm very happy to do, do a different video for y'all. Another story time for y'all. So another, another memory that I could, could recall that I was happy about. So hope to see y'all soon. Catch y'all in the next one. Take care. <laughs>